Hi, I'm Bruce Moody with Federal Highway Administration. I'm a program management analyst, and uh, we're here today with uh, Miguel Figuelatsi. Yeah, very good. Uh, he's from Portland State University. At what capacity? So I'm an associate professor at the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. And can, t can you tell me a little bit about what we're doing here today with the um, uh, bike ped counting project? So today, this is a task related to the pilot study looking at different technologies and how they can be used to count bicycles and pedestrians. So what we are doing is a bit unique and quite new because traditionally the focus has been on counting vehicles, but we're trying to use similar technologies like tube counts, loop detectors, and video to count bicycles and pedestrians. That's great. And uh, what's the plan to do? Uh, what will you do with the information once you uh, collect everything and analyze the data? So first, we're going to gather all the data. We're trying to, one, look at the results, validate them to see if the tube counts and loop detectors are accurate enough to be used um, by Department of Transportation. And then we we'll also want to look at how we can use these numbers to estimate average annual uh, bicycle and pedestrian traffic at intersections like this one. My name is Miguel Figliosi. I'm a faculty in civil engineering at Portland State University. And here, um, we're working on a project for Oregon DOT that is related to counting bicycles and pedestrians. Um, so we're here at 99 West and Hall Boulevard because we're doing a pilot study trying to look at different technologies to count bicycles and pedestrians. Uh, so we got the help and collaboration and support from ODOT, from the Traffic Counting System Division, and Maybe you can correct me if I didn't say it right. Uh, so, and they are helping us to set up cameras and tube counters for to detect bicycles and pedestrians. So, I'm gonna pass the mic now or Steve. get Steve to you know talk about the cameras and introduce himself. Uh, my name is Steve Chance. I work for Oregon Department of Transportation and then Traffic Data Analyst, and we're out here. Um, recording bicycles and pedestrians, mostly bicycles I imagine, with um, our Aventura um, camera. It's made by Aventura. Um, it's got a pan and tilt on it and it's got a zoom which we can zoom into uh, the location that we're looking at. Um, it runs on a 24 volt system and we can run either 24 hours or uh, 48 hours with this system. And it's a 24 hour recording. Is this the first time you guys are doing this or you have done it before? This is the first time we've done it with the bicycle study. Uh, we have done regular traffic studies which we in do include pedestrians and bicycles in the counts, uh, but this is the first time we've actually just looked at just the um, bicycles for a specific study. Is there anything different or specific about the setup when you're trying to capture bicycles and pedestrians or anything you would do different or no, it's basically the same setup. You may have to zoom in a little bit closer to just keep an eye on just the bike lane itself or where the bike's going to be riding. Um, so it's basically similar. It's just got to focus more on the bike lanes and bike trails. We are now at the location where we are testing the tube counters. And so I'm going to ask now uh, Ray from ODOT about the type of equipment and the setup we have here for this specific location. Okay, uh, I'm Ray Herrero, I'm, I'm with ODOT and I uh, do the traffic counts for them. Uh, we're using a Gamma NT, uh, it, it's a setup right now for a kind of a class count, but uh, this is the first time we've done uh, bicycles uh, with it. We usually do uh, the hose counts on the highway, and the difference that we have here is uh, the spacing uh, is a smaller, it's four foot spacing with uh, 20 foot lengths of hose uh, that we're using. And then we tape it down with the uh, tape and nail it into the pavement. And uh, then uh, use the flagging tape 
to make sure that people can see that there's a, a hose across the sidewalk there. And uh, that's, you know, pretty much it. It's basically a miniature version of what we're doing on the highway only on uh, for bicycles. And like I said, it's the first time uh, set up. And the difference in uh, what we're doing with the counter is the sensitivity has three settings, uh, low, um, medium, and a, a high. And right now we're set at high to pick up the bicycle uh, bicycles on the, in the bike lane. And uh, so that's the, the biggest difference that we, we're doing. Okay. So the biggest difference is the sensitivity. sensitivity. Is there anything else that is different than uh, when you... The, the spacing is, is a big factor. They said uh, the people that make the counter recommended a four foot to six foot spacing and we're doing the four foot spacing. Okay. And so uh, that's, that's about it. And, and for vehicles it's usually 16? 16. 16 feet for vehicles in the highway. Yeah, and we do this basically the same thing on, in the highway. We tape it all down and everything in, in the road. So uh, it's kind of new for us. We haven't done this before. It's kind of a you know first time thing. So we're going to be doing, I'm sure, more different kinds of stuff with it. Can you explain the difference between the setup and the setup across the street on the other side? Well, the only difference that we have it's basically the same setup, except for here we have. We we did the four foot spacing on the sidewalk too, and over there because we saw bicycles coming on the sidewalk, and over there we we didn't realize that it was happening, and we have them together uh, closer together over there. So we're going to see what the difference is between that and this, and hopefully there's not much difference, but we'll see. We're here at the intersection of 99 West and Hall, and here we are looking at the setup of. The video camera, this is the PSU equipment, and we are trying to capture pedestrian activity on all four corners of the intersection and also to capture the bikes that are approaching the intersection. So here we have a camera that, um, I mean, a box that can get four inputs. We are using just three inputs to look at the right turn on the other side and to look at all the pedestrian activation uh, buttons. So we're going to use this video later in the lab to validate how many people are crossing the intersection and also how many bikes are being detected by the loop detectors. Uh, here we have the 2070 controller and we came a week ago with Tiffany Slaughter from ODOT and she checked the sensitivity of the loop detectors for the bike loops. So here we can see that the diamond shaped detectors and this is here for the detection for the bicycle and roughly 30 feet behind we have the other um, diamond loop for to detect the approaching bicycles. So every time a bicycle now goes over these loops that is being recorded by the 2070 controller. So we're going to use the data from the controllers, the data from the video that we have set up, and the data from the tube counters to cross-check and validate all these different technologies for bicycle and pedestrian counting. The 2070s are also recording the pedestrian faces, so every time a pedestrian is requesting a cross, a signal to cross the street, that's being recorded here. The only issue with this technology is that there could be a group of people, could be one, two, three pedestrians that are using the same face. So what we are trying to do with the video is try to get a, estimate a correlation between the number of faces that are being requested and the number of actual people that are using the intersection.